John's Pass, located on Florida's west central coast, where tourists and locals come together to play. Some are here for the nightlife, but Captains Jonathan Moss and David Kleinhands are here for the sea life. Of course the seas are rougher than predicted, forcing the captains to push through the elements for that prized catch. It'll be a hard fought battle, putting the vessel, the gear, and the crew to the test. So sit back and see how it all unfolds as we flip through the pages of the captain's log. Log with Captain Jonathan Moss, presented by Florida Fishing Products. All right, brother. Well, we got a little rain right now, but I'd rather be raining now than later on. We're having a run in, dumping on us. Yeah, it's been a stormy summer. It's been looking good. The, uh, the forecast looks super great. One footers all morning. It's about one, two o'clock. I'm just gonna pick up just a little bit. But by then, we're going to have all the groceries we need, and we're going to be already back in the dock filleting fish. That's the plan. So, so always good to be on the water with you, brother. It's been, it's been some time. It's been a couple. What was last summer, last time we went fishing? I think so, yeah. The boys were in town. We had a little dude's trip. Yep. So, all right, let's get it. Let's get out of here. We're rolling right up. Look at the bottom. That looks really good. We're marking. This is the spot. You know, we went from like 75 feet, and but you said, no, 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 keep going, keep going. All of a sudden, it just like a slope started dropping. Where we are now, we're at 107, 106 feet. Yeah, 107, 33 miles offshore. Yeah. So out here on the west coast, what we really look for grouper fishing is hard bottom. It's a little different than finding a reef. You don't need a huge showing on the bottom. You just need something, and there'll be fish there. If you can find what we call Swiss cheese bottom, that's ideal. Looks like there's holes. All right, person who catches the first fish has got to buy dinner. <laughs> who catches the first one? Yeah, you heard me. Catches the first one. Don't be changing the rules, huh? Don't be changing the rules. Look at that. Stirred something up there. Yep. Oh, man, I guess I'm buying dinner, brother. What we got, what we got. Red grouper. It's that target species. Nice, hey, right here, dude. First one, target species. I know they're a little bit bigger than that down there. We'll get another one. There we go. Pretty fish. Love those colors. See you, buddy. Pull them up. Pull them up. Don't let them beat you. Come on. He don't want to come up. There we go. Got him? <laughs> Fun on that light he's, tackle, isn't He's it? coming. Seven foot extra heavy rod with a 5,000 on it. For that Osprey to work. <laughs> I love it. That's a big one. There we go. That's what I'm talking about, brother. Look at that one. That is a great red grouper. Yes, sir. <laughs> what a tank. There you go. That, my friend, is what we're looking for. That's what they look like. Well done, dude. Big green-eyed monster, how gorgeous. That's a fire truck right there. Yes, sir. The crazy thing is you can see all them scratches from him being in them rocks. Down in those rocks, absolutely. Just gotta rip them out. Crazy, all right, buddy. Thank you, see ya. Going to ghost. The Captain's Log with Captain Jonathan Moss, presented by Florida Fishing Products, is brought to you by 
Florida Fishing Products, Icon Coolers, Danko Pliers, East Cape Boats, Temple Fork Outfitters, Skinny Water Culture, Skinu, Power Pole, DOA Lures, and Go Castaway Fishing Charters. Ah, big fish. Got a big bait for you. Big butterfly squirrel fish. Come on and eat it. Here we go. All right. Got him. Fish on. That might be the big one I'm looking for, brother. It's my turn to catch a bruiser. Here it goes. See some color? Got Mac Daddy over here. Ho oh, ho! Nice fish. Oh! All right, baby. All right. There you ah, go. Look at that well hook set there. Brother. There's the big one I was looking for. There you go. What a chunk. Great, great red grouper. He ain't as big as that one you caught, but dude. Absolute blast. He's big enough. That tug, man, came up and ate that the, the head of that squirrel fish. Just munched it. Love it. Bye. Sucker. Oh, get him, dude. Get him. Get him. See ya. <laughs> like you're gonna be there for a minute. Come on, don't let him beat you. Oh, uh, he ain't gonna beat me. Leverage. There you go. There you go. That's a fat old. Oh, look at that group. You gonna be able to grab him? Yeah, I got him. I got him. Oh yeah! <laughs> that, my friend, is an upgrade. Woo! <laughs> What a beast, Red Group, brother. Yes, sir. <laughs> well done, my friend. <laughs> yeah. Well done. Look at that thing. Wow. What a fish. What a bruiser, brother. Now that, my friend, is a fire truck. <laughs> yes, sir. If I'm not mistaken, John's Pass, where we ran out of, like the Red Grouper Capital or yeah, Commercial Red, Central, something yeah, like that. Yeah, it's the hub, Red Grouper. Capital of uh, with fish like this of the nation. I believe it. All right, brother. Let's send her home. I tell you what, season wasn't closed. She'd be coming home with us. It's still fun to catch them. Go see a big fish. Yes, sir. All right. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. And now the conservation challenge with Captain Jonathan Moss. Whenever I go hiking, whenever I'm out on the trail, I always see the sign, pack it in, pack it out, which simply means whatever you take out on the trail, take it out with you when you leave. Same when we go fishing, whether you're fishing from a boat, on a pier, or fishing from the shoreline, whatever you take with you, you need to pack it on out. And a great tool, a great product that we can use to help with that is the thrash can bucket topper. It simply is a topper, goes on top of a five gallon bucket. It's got a mesh, it's got an opening. When you're done with whatever you're using, whatever trash you come up with, whatever you pick out of the water, goes inside of the bucket. The topper keeps it contained. That way when you're running the skiff or if the wind starts blowing, you don't have to worry about that trash going out in the water. Let's all do our part, helping keep our waters and our estuaries clean by picking up our trash. And wherever we pack in, we pack it on out. I'm gonna throw this whole chunk down. See if we can get one of the bigger ones to eat. Oh, that's a good one there. I'm, I won't be disappointed if it's not red grouper. 
color. Hoping it's a gag. We've been releasing all these reds. Big red. Hey, I'll take it though. Woo! Got him, bro. There you go, bro. Nicely done. I tell you, some lucky fish. You know, we're, he called me up and we said, let's go do some red grouper fishing. And the season closed, but he's like, you know what? We got a day. Let's still go after it. Yeah. So awesome. Okay, we need to keep our eyes open. We got some storms rolling in on us. Nothing too close to us yet, but it's getting dark. Let's see if we can talk on a few more. The bottom is alive, my friend. And here comes the rain. I told you that storm is gonna catch us eventually. I'll take rain over, uh, you know. I'll take rain over thunder and lightning. Get him! Get him! Oh, double! Double! Yeah, yeah. Oh, mine popped off. You still on over there? You know it. Little guy. Well done, well done. Just say bait so nice, it hooked him twice. All right, I'm on the bottom. Hey, I told you to watch this storm. Look at that water spout forming. That is pretty cool, man. You never know what you're gonna see when you're out here, isn't that right? Oh man, I tell you, the fight. I love catching redfish, trout, snook. You got one over there, got double. But there's just something special about bottom fishing. Oh, mine pulled right here at the boat. Mine pulled right here. Something special, brother, about bottom fishing. Looking for my snapper here. That's still a lot of fun on that lighter rod. Oh, it is. Man, you had him hooked good, brother. There you go. Off he goes. See you later. See ya. Today's Tackle Box Tip with Captain Jonathan Moss. Today's episode, we are bottom fishing for red grouper out of John's Pass on Florida's Gulf Coast. Now, according to FWC, Florida's Fish and Wildlife Commission, when you're fishing in the Gulf waters, whether it's federal or state, you have to use a circle hook when using natural bait. The key to a circle hook, guys, is when you get that bite, you don't want to set the hook like traditional style of fishing. Instead, you're not using J-hooks, okay? You just want to come tight and just start cranking that reel. When the fish starts pulling, the load in the rod and coming tight is all you need to get that circle hook to go right into the corner of the fish's mouth. It'll come tight every single time. If you start setting that hook, you're gonna rip that bait right out of the fish's mouth and you won't come tight. So remember, when you're using circle hooks, just come tight, just start cranking, and you'll hook that fish every single time. There you go, come on. What you got over there, David? I don't know. Uh, grouper. A little engine that could. Out here in this beautiful blue water, brother. Catch these red grouper. Woo-wee! That one's on that whole squid. Yeah, man. These guys are an absolute blast. Make that tackle work. Make yeah. you work. Yeah. <laughs> the engine that could, yes sir. You'll be sore tomorrow. 
Love it. All right, he's vented. All right, buddy. See you later. Gone he goes. Great relief. Yeah. Awesome. The Captain's Log with Captain Jonathan Moss. Presented by Florida Fishing Products. Is sponsored in part by these fine companies. Crank, crank, crank. Turn that handle. Get him. What you got? You got color yet? As soon as I get done dropping this bait down, I'll come over and help you. Another red grouper, you got him? What's that one eat? Piece of squid. Oh! Another good fish, man. Another good fish. Here it comes. Yeah. Perk right in the button. Oh, what a blast, dude. Coming up, hammering in that. This one had a. Uh, whole squid on it. Some of these have had really blue tips. This one's not as much, but just like the redfish in shore, you know, from eating those crustaceans. We've seen several today with them in there, with crustaceans in their mouth. Kyle love bro. All right, let's get him vented and uh, call and goes. Thank you. See ya. Come on. Persistence usually overcomes resistance. A little stubbornness doesn't hurt either. Because when it comes to pulling up big grouper from the bottom, one thing is for sure, it's going to be a test of strength. And grouper don't give up easy. These hard-fought battles truly challenge your body, mind, and spirit. And as usual, in the end it makes you stronger.